have been sort of just saving exp saving a lot of stardust all things considered oh um, but yeah i mean obviously eh, whatever we're gonna we're gonna do one more brain we're gonna do one more just total brain off hasui cup set and then maybe we'll maybe we'll either comp something for hasui cup or we will go back to open great league and try something yeah but for now let's play one more brain off hasui cup set great lead for us great lead my opponent concedes perfect brain off brain off my hometown there's a dude hoarding all the gyms 24 7 what does he get out of it nothing he's an asshole he probably does a lot of rating lorem and that's really it the real answer is he's basically an asshole and there's nothing you can do about that luckily the 50 pokey coins you get from gyms is not really that impactful to your your regular gameplay i would just not interact with it if possible it sucks and i'm sorry and there are people like that but it's stupid toxicroak another good lead for us let's go let's go good pivot for us this thing does put reasonably good damage in on us right so like i'll probably throw a charge move here because i think they have the two weather balls yeah and i don't want to i don't want to have to shield right they do though okay that's fine i mean we're gonna we're gonna shield this one because we're gonna win this fight and keep switch advantage they're could very well be setting up a scenario where they're going to try and shadow ball my uh they want to shadow ball our drift right that's kind of what they're thinking like that's my win condition the problem here is that they're gonna get mud bombed now because we've managed our energy well and yes they're gonna come out with energy but they're gonna come out with almost no health or no or down a shield which means that we can just kind of beat up on them right i also could bring in gastrodon but i'm not going to mostly because there's still a really good chance they have something like a basti in the back and i don't want to show my last pokemon right nope they've got a okay this is actually pretty difficult for us to deal with Ooh. I don't know that the debuff is going to be enough here. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. So I needed to catch that. Probably. Because I think this will kill us too, even with the debuff on. We got core broken in the back. Oh, they wild charge. Okay. We're actually, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. Because I don't think this can kill me before I kill it. So they did not get to the... Uh, they luckily did not get to the grass move. And a shadow ball might do it, but like it's going to be pretty hard. No, my bomb definitely doesn't. GG's. All right. Tricky. Opponent had a good core breaker in the back, but just just really hard for them to to come back for. It mapped out well for me, but it was very very tight, right? It was very tight. I wanted to brain off a little more than that. That was a little more brain on than I wanted my uh, my battle to be. <laughs> Yo, GG's get off my lawn. The uh, that that Voltorb was very spooky, and I was very worried. What's my safe swap against Frostlass? Uh, nothing. I I stay in and I just try and trade with it. It it's bad. Frostlass is the thing, one of the Pokemon that I don't like to see with this team. There's a there's a few. My my hope is that people are too scared to run Frostlass. Right? That's my hope. That's my hope. Mudshot to yeah, Mudshot Toxie's an option too. And Night Slash gonna hurt, but we can always take that first move and we're 
threatening them a lot more than they're threatening us. Now, the last time we ran into a team running this thing, uh, it was also running a Gallade, which was a problem. It is Alka, yeah. It's much, 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 much easier. So. Speaking of Frost Lass, here you go. Here's our Frost Lass. It's a problem. <laughs> Honest answer, it's a problem. Come on. Oh, boo. So what we do now is we just try and kill it from here, right? Don't love it. Not excited about it. Don't want to be here. But our hope is that I can basically trade with it. And then our last Pokemon, if I have nowhere to go with Toxicroak here. Okay, this is fine. I actually am okay with this. Because our opponent is kind of just giving us... Oh, that's greedy. It's not going to pay off. Not going to pay off. Uh, they're in mud bomb range from here, so we'll just we'll mud bomb. But yeah, so if you're wondering what we do against Frostlass, we find a way. <laughs> we just find a way. Yes, if their team has like a Frostlass and a Shadow Gallade on it, like we're not beating those teams. This team is very much built to take advantage of the fact that like a Basti anywhere on their team other than the lead is basically a dead Pokemon. Now, I haven't seen a Basti in like five games right and sometimes the way is literally yeah they just threw their toxicroak away if they had farmed me if that had worked out for them then i lose that game but they needed to throw a mud bomb there right yeah something like bite hole i also beat pretty soundly like so there's a number of teams that this team just beats really soundly another good lead for us um and so like We're gonna we're gonna make sure we if they're gonna if they're gonna get a drill pack here they're gonna have to shield, right? No. So obviously this is a, a trap the toxicroak kind of scenario. So in theory, we could be in a little bit of trouble here, provided like their last Pokemon is some kind of core breakeries thing, or they could just decide that uh, my CMP tie there was too much for them and they've just set their phone down and walked away also a real possibility also a real possibility let's find out if we would have won the game anyway uh you know what you know what i think my opponent has a real chance of winning that game i do because our toxi our toxi should be dead and then they've got a bomb of snow in the back against a, a Gastrodon and a Drift Blim. Like, OP, you had a core breaker in the back. I actually think that game would have been pretty interesting. When did lead poison jab Toxie become a thing? I don't know. I don't know why you would do that. It's just worse counter. Uh, Mudshot, there might be an argument that Mudshot Toxie beats like Drift Blim or something crazy like that. But I also still think it's bad not to be on counter. I just think counter is too strong a move to not do that. Um, and a Bibarel. Bibarel is definitely more a core breaker than I'm comfortable with. And that's obviously pretty rough for us. I could have gone to Shadow Ball here, but. Yeah, we're going to have to get creative against the Bibarel, right? 
And by get creative, I mean, I don't really know what my plan is. <laughs> it's pretty bad for us. Uh, in a lot of ways, so. Yeah, and they get their, their Psy Shock off here, so. Bad combination. Obviously, uh, this team is... Oh, they pay back to me too. Oh, we're dead. I didn't think they'd have payback energy there. Yeah, we're not winning this. I'm pretty confident from here. We're not winning this. Uh, our only game plan is to Icy Wind. And then hope their back Pokemon is something that Gastro beats in every shield scenario, including the O2. Because I am just straight up going to shield my way through this and hope for the best. We don't need to play this anymore. GG's opponents. <laughs> We're dead. They got us. They got us. Either way, that set took less than 15 minutes. Gosh, that set took like seven minutes. <laughs> we basically had two. We basically had our opponent concede to us twice and we conceded to our opponent once without playing the uh, entirety of the entirety of the game. But you know what? <sighs> His suey cup in a nutshell, boys and girls.